Hi everyone, today we are going to have a look at the topic of bearings. Now, I'm going to make an assumption here that before you have a look at this, you've already taken some time to study angles, what the basic angles are, how to measure them and how to use a protractor, etc. Because bearings are very closely linked to angles and that knowledge is quite important before we move on. I'm going to put a link to my video on angles below in the comments and also a link at the end of this video. Let's start then with a definition of what a bearing actually is. A bearing is a direction. It is measured as an angle, so with a protractor, and therefore it's measured in degrees. But there are some differences that we need to be aware of between measuring a normal angle and measuring a bearing. Take a look at the diagram here. It's very typical of a bearing question. And what the question will be asking you is to find the direction of point B here from point A. So the first thing that we do is we mark at point A a line pointing north because here's the first rule. When we are measuring bearings, we are always measuring from north. The second rule is that we always measure in a clockwise direction. With other angles, we can go in either direction, but with bearings, it is always clockwise. So the angle we are looking to measure is this angle here from the north line round to the line that shows the direction of B from A. In this case, the bearing would be 120 degrees. And that's your solution. The bearing of B from A is 120 degrees. Now, let's look at a slightly different situation. Let's consider what would happen if we were asked to find the direction of A from B. So in this case, we are starting at the point B. The method is exactly the same. We draw a north line. Now, here's where the temptation would be to measure this angle across here. But of course, that would be completely wrong because that's measuring anti-clockwise. We have to go in a clockwise direction, therefore the bearing is this angle here. How do we measure that? Bearing in mind a protractor only goes up to 180. Well, a neat little trick here is actually you do measure this angle here because there is something we already know about angles and that's the fact that if you do have a line and you want to measure all the way round, it adds up to 360 degrees. So if we measure this angle here, which in fact in this case is 60 degrees, all we need to do is take the whole circle, 360, take away that 60 there, must mean that the rest of this angle here is 300 degrees. So we have stuck to our rule, we have measured the whole angle clockwise from north right the way around to 300 degrees. Here's another example and I've drawn this one just to highlight another difference between angles and bearings. We're looking for the direction of B from A. So here is our north line. The angle that we are going to measure clockwise from north is this angle here. Now in this case the angle is actually 35 degrees. But when we are writing a bearing as opposed to just an angle, we always have to put it in a three digit format. In other words, we have to put 035 degrees. There are always three numbers on a bearing. So anything less than 100 has to start with zero you would have 0, 090. Five degrees would be zero, zero, 005. So that's another important little difference you need to remember when you are dealing with bearings. So there we are, that's bearings. Remember the three rules, always measure from north, always go clockwise with your protractor, 
and make sure there are three numbers in your answer. As promised, there at the side is the link to angles. Please have a look at that. And if you enjoyed what you've seen today, please subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the notifications button as well, you'll get to see any of my new videos. Thank you.